Hello everybody, uh, today I have an OU match for you as you can see, and you know how I kind of said that Reuniclus was going to stay, well that's kind of a lie because this is going to be its last match, simply because I've discovered Mamoswine exists and that is an absolute fucking monster, so yeah I kind of decided to stick with uh, Mamoswine in that, so yeah. It's not really a big loss because Reunifus doesn't really do that much. Uh, I'm not really going to analyse his team that much because there isn't really much to analyse. He doesn't really have anything that threatening besides his uh, Genesect and his Dugtrio, but even then Dugtrio are friggin' sucked and you'll see that later in the battle. But anyway, yeah, getting straight into it. Um, I am just going to lead off with Landorus because I was pretty sure he would want to lead off with his Genesect, so I kind of want to get the uh, initiative on him. So he does indeed lead with his Genesect, so that's uh, pretty good indeed because I can just go uh, for the Scarf U-turn because I'm pretty sure I'll outspeed because I do have a higher base speed that Genesect, so that's all good for me. So I am just going to go for the U-turn and just U-turn straight into my um, T-Tar, because obviously T-Tar is my special war, and I'm pretty sure this guy won't be predicting uh, yet, so um, he is actually just going to go for the Ice Beam, so that's fine, because it's going to obviously do absolutely nothing to uh, T-Tar, even though he does have the plus one special attack boost, because it is on stab and neutral, um, and just... T-Tar is an absolute monster. So now he's going to send in his uh, Doug Tree. I'm predicting that I... Actually, no, I went for the Stealth Rocks, and so it will come in, hoping it will come in later, but he does send it in now, which is a good play. And he goes for the Stab, super effective Earthquake on my Tyranitar, and it does half, which is pathetic. <laughs> I think friggin'... Oh, my God. Oh, God, it pretty much shows how pathetic Doug Trio is, that it can barely do half to a specially defensive Tyranitar. But yeah, he is going to be able to take me out in this turn, but it was just the fact that he um, managed to um, only just about do half with that, which was, just made me laugh. It just made me laugh at how pathetic the trio is overall. So yeah, that's pretty funny. But now I'm just going to send in Landorus, who is obviously Scarf, so I'm going to be able to just go for the U-turn, take that thing out. And that is going to uh, be his Dugtrio dead. So now I'm just going to decide to go into my Gastrodon. Because Gastrodon does check most of his guys. Just because uh, Gastrodon is obviously quite bulky. So, you know, that's uh, nice indeed. But he's going to send in his Lilligant. And that's not exactly the most ideal thing. So I'm going to go into my Sizzle. As he's just going to go for the Quiver Dance predicting the switch quite nicely. Um, and right here I thought, okay, he's going to be fearing the obvious Bullet Punks. So I'm going to go for the Pursuit on the Predicted Switch, but he decides to go for the Sleep Power. I'm like, why on earth would you do that? Why would not Why would you stay in an obvious Bullet Punch? But because I'm asleep, I was not locked into the Pursuit, so I am able to change my move up. So I am going to be able to wake up on this turn, I think. Yes, I'm going to be able to wake up on this turn. Punch that Lilligant with a Bullet Punch, and that is going to kill his Lilligant. So that, I'm pretty sure that... That crit may have mattered, but I don't think it did just because it's choice banded, technician boosted, stab and all that stuff. But yeah, he's going to go into his Genesect now, and that's kind of scary because I'm pretty sure I won't be able to uh, take a hit from this thing. And so I'm going to go into Gastrodon, because obviously Gastrodon is quite bulky. And he's just going to go for the Ice Beam, which is a bit annoying because I could have just stayed in with Sizzle there because it, this uh, Genesect is obviously going to be choice. I swear I haven't seen anything but friggin' choice Genesects anywhere. But yeah, um, uh, Gastrodon is just going to decide to go for the Skulls. Um, and that's pretty a pretty good uh, choice for me because he's going to send his nine tails, which is floating on a balloon, I believe. Yeah, so uh, this skull is going to be able to break its balloon, even though it is weakened by the uh, sun. Um, it's going to break his balloon, so I can just go for an earthquake next turn if I want to. But um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be fearing the obvious energy ball or something. Yeah, so I'm going to just switch and I'm going to go into um, my Gliscor, which. Um, it's a bit annoying because he's going to go straight for the Will-O-Wisp, which is annoying because I could have just stayed in with Gastrodon, just gone for the Earthquake and killed that fucking thing. But, no matter, I guess I've just got to burn Gliscor instead of a healing one now, so I'm just going to um, decide to just start spamming Earthquake just to see if I can hurt this Genesect, which I can't. But I'm just going to go for Protect Scout, what he's going to do, he's going to go for the Ice Beam. I believe I'm going to switch into Gastrodon again, but he's going to switch as well and he's going to go out into his... Um, He's going to go out into his Chandelure as I'm going to go into my Gastrodon. And, um, like a bit of an idiot, I decide to just stay with my Gastrodon and just sack it because the energy ball is kind of obvious. Um, I, I guess I kind of could have gone into, um, into Sizzle there because this thing's obviously going to be choice. And, um, I would have just been able to four times with this that and just kill it off with of Pursuit. But it doesn't matter too much in the long run. Either way, I'm just going to be able to send a Landorus who is Scarfed because it pretty much outspeeds his entire team. Um, he's going to just go into Deoxys Defense um, on the obvious Earthquake, and this Earthquake um, actually does quite a lot considering it's a Deoxys Defense. I mean, um, if you look at it, it does a good 
you know, like 40%, which isn't too bad at all. I predict, I, no, not predicted, I expected it to do a lot less than that, but I'm now going to switch because I, I don't want him to go for, like, HP ice or whatever these things carry, I don't really know. But he goes for the taunt, which is a weird decision because I could have just stayed in and just gone for another EQ and just basically killed him, but not too big of a deal. He's going to decide to set up his hazards now as I'm just going to decide, I'm just basically trying to, um, Get, let Gliscor die so I can just go back into Landris and just clean things up. But um, it's evident to me he's going to start setting up Stealth Rock, so I'm just going to go into my Scizor again because I can fire off a U turn if I need to. And he's going to go for the Nightshade, um, which doesn't actually, what well, doesn't do that much. It does 100 damage, obviously, which isn't too big of a deal because um, he can just go for another one. I am at 201 HP, so it's not a big deal at all. And I can just fire off Choice Banded, stab, super effective U turn, and that is going to kill that Deoxys with a crit. Pretty sure that crit didn't matter considering how much the earthquake did earlier, but if it did, nah, I would have been able to just go into Landorus next time and just kill him off anyway. And now I'm just going to send in Landorus here, and I believe it's just going to be able to clean up the rest of his team, yeah. Because I'm going to be able to easily outspeed this Genesect, and because of all the rocks damage and all the other damage it's been taking, I'm easily going to be able to kill that because it's at, like, negative 1 HP. So yeah, that is going to take out his Genesect. And, like I said, it's basically going to be the end of the game here, because I'm going to be able to sweep through his entire team, because he has nothing to stop Landris, because Landris is a monster. But yeah, um, that was Reuniclus' last game. It's a shame that Reuniclus didn't actually get to do anything. But yeah, I've basically started using Mama Swine now, because Mama Swine is an absolute fucking tank. Um, I didn't realise that it would be so amazing. And I was saying to Deformed Arse the other day, hmm, I really kind of want a... Uh, a mammoth one, he said slap it on a team. I was like, wait a minute, I suppose I could replace Reuniclus, because Reuniclus doesn't do that much, and Mammoth one is just much more versatile. So yeah, basically that's gonna happen. Um and yeah, I don't really have much to say now, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.